Hey guys, what is up? So I got a new product to test. This is a Power Hobby 40 millimeter fan that can be powered with a 3S battery. And then this is the 40 millimeter fan mount. Now what's nice about this is it fits size 56 to 58 motors. You can see there that there's a little screw that you can kind of adjust and tighten down this around the motor. And then the top it has about four or five different holes that you can have for different fans and whatnot. Um, so between this fan and this fan, this is a Game Changer RC fan. Um, I'm going to test out and see which one is stronger on uh, 3S and 4S because this is a 4S or this, this is a 3S, no this is a 4S balance adapter and this one comes with a 3S. So, now with this being a 4S balance adapter and then this Game Changer RC fan on my Max 5 also is a 4S adapter. I kind of want to just, you know, hook both of these up to the 4S balance leads. I am kind of afraid that this is going to run down my runtime prematurely, but I guess we'll see. And if I have to, um, I can switch these out to a 3S and just run the entire system off of a, you know, 3S balance lead. I'm going to keep these in here for now, the four set of Game Changer RC fans, um, just because, you know, more cooling, so why not? Alright guys, so I went ahead and installed the fan housing on the motor, and then um, I'm using the Game Changer fan just with the Power Hobby cover. The Power Hobby fan had plenty of power, but it had the 3S connector and I want to see how low my ESC lets my batteries get with both of these plugged into the 4S balance adapter or 4S balance lead on the batteries. Um, if it becomes a problem where one battery is super low and the other is not or it just reduces my run time to where I can actually you know notice it then um, I'm gonna get the GS, JST to 3S connectors, and I'll just run these off of a 3S battery instead of running these off the 4S batteries I have in here. And then this right here, I'll keep connected to my 3S battery that I mount. Um, so we'll take it out, I'll check motor temperatures and whatnot. Um, with this setup, it's actually really sturdy, and I did have to put a little bit of sheet metal between the motor and the fan mount because it tightened good but then there was wiggle room to go side to side but now I think I you know solved that problem um yeah we'll see how good this is all right so here's at the skate park with Thomas I'm not gonna be able to film the whole thing because I just have my phone with me but I'm just gonna rip around and do what I normally do and then at the end of my run I'm going to take temperatures all right guys, I just hit LVC and I was just running it back and forth doing full speed rips. So let's see what our temps are. Get to my temp gun. There we go. Alright, so 140 on the motor. One oh eight on the ESC. Not bad. One sixteen on the battery, ooh, one thirty three. Hey, watch your fingers, man. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Pretty sturdy. Alright, guys, back at the house. Um, yeah, these fans worked great, and this mount, I highly recommend. I'm actually going to buy another one before they sell out, because I'm sure that they will sell out pretty soon. Um, with this setup, you don't even need a heat sink. Um, it sucks that I couldn't film it just because I didn't have my GoPro and I can't film and drive 
aggressively with one hand while I'm filming with my camera. But um, I promise you that I was uh, beating on this pretty hard. Actually, I snapped my RPM rear A arm. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely a good product. I'm gonna get another one, like I said. They're $16. I got mine from Island Nut Hobby, I think. Um, but yeah, this mount will fit any 40 millimeter fan and there's different screw slots where you can um, mount different options, different fans and whatnot. Um, yep, so I had my Max 5 LVC on uh, intermediate for cutoff and both these batteries were no less than 13.5 volts each. Um, all my cells range from 3.45 to 3.55. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep running them off of this uh, balance connector. I think I could tell my runtime was a little down, but it was still a blast, you know, the 15, 20 minutes that I had it for. So, yeah, definitely recommend. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more content. All right, bash on, guys. Have a good day.